Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video is sponsored by Allform, the sister brand of Helix Sleep, which I'm sure you've heard of if you've followed me for any length of time. Allform makes stylish sofas and chairs that are American made, easy to assemble, and completely modular. So besides the kitchen, the couch is the hub of our house. We read there, we snuggle there, we watch movies. You'll find me editing late at night there. We spend a lot of time on our couch and it's super important that it is comfortable and that it fits our space. Our last couch was too big. Our Allform couch, which we've now had for a few months now, is perfect. Perfect. It fits the space perfectly. We got the three seat sofa with a chaise in whiskey leather. This is my first leather couch and I love it. That's one of the things I really like about Allform is that there are over 500 different configurations. So you can really customize a couch for your space. Another thing I like about the modular design is that if you move into a smaller or larger space, you can adjust your couch accordingly. If you don't choose leather, there are plenty of lovely fabric options as well that are stain and scratch resistant, which is wonderful for families like ours. <laughs> Another really great thing about Allform's couches is that they're super easy to assemble. You don't need any tools whatsoever, and they come in these very manageable cardboard boxes, which is great. Even a person that's petite like myself, I can move the boxes, arrange them, and assemble the couch myself. And because Allform ships directly to its customers, it can offer premium materials at a reasonable price. Ordering is super simple. You just hop online, choose what options you like, and shipping is free and fast. Allform also offers a 100 day trial. If for any reason you're not happy with your couch, they will pick up your couch for free and give you a full refund. So we love our sofa. If you're looking for something new, you can click the link down below or head over to allform.com slash emmymade to receive 20% off the sofa of your choice. Big thanks to Allform for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to make better content for all of you. Now today I'm going to be making a recipe that so many of you requested. Thank you so much for getting in touch with me via social media and letting me know about this recipe and that you wanted me to make it. And it is for honey that is made out of corn cobs. Now essentially this is a corn cob jelly recipe. It's an old one. In fact, I have a cookbook here called the Pioneer Cookbook, the Ozark Mountaineer right here. And it has a recipe for corn cob jelly. So according to this book, this recipe is a pioneer recipe that was used to take the place of corn syrup when it could not be had. And it tastes exactly like corn syrup. Not surprising, right? Because it's made out of corn cobs. So the recipe that so many of you sent to me comes from Going Zero Waste. I'll put a link down below to both the TikTok and the Instagram. And it looks to be a very, very simple recipe of basically condensing the juice that we're going to make from these corn cobs into a jelly-like substance that we can smear on toast. And will it taste like honey? I'm very skeptical of that. Will it taste good? perhaps. So I've made a couple old fashioned recipes for honey substitutes, including beeless honey, which is made from clovers from my garden. And I also made a mesquite jelly honey, which was very interesting as a honey substitute as well. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll put links down below to those. And today we're going to be making corn cob honey. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can imagine, this recipe comes from hard times. It's when you didn't want the sweetness of the corn to go to waste. So you use every little bit of it, including the cob. Here's a little trick that I'm sure many of you have seen, but it's one that actually works. If you got yourself a bun pan, this is a quick and easy way to keep all the kernels from ending up all over your countertop or on the floor. You just put your corn here and you take a knife and it catches most of the kernels. Handy dandy, right? Just go all the way around. This is great if you have corn in your garden and you need to freeze your corn. You just do this. I believe Jacques Pepin taught me this. If you are freezing your corn, you can take the back of your knife and scrape it and it'll get all these little nubbins out of here. But I'm not gonna do that in this case because I want that to flavor my vegan honey. Take our two corn cobs and add them to a saucepan. Two cups of water. So now we're gonna bring this up to a boil and then reduce the heat down to a simmer and we're gonna cook it for about 15 minutes. Strain this, about a half a cup. We're gonna return the corn broth back to the saucepan and add some sugar. 
dissolve that sugar down. That's going to be the sweetener. A couple tablespoons of water with one tablespoon of cornstarch. Add that to the mixture. And the reason why we put the cornstarch in water and not just the cornstarch itself is that it tends to clump. and We don't want any clumpage. So we're going to bring this back to a full boil because cornstarch needs to get up to temperature before it gets up to its full thickening capacity. We're going to add a smidge of turmeric for color. Just a smidge. And that will give us that honey yellow color. I'm going to decant it into a container. So just out of curiosity, I'm going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of real honey and this corn cob honey. This is honey from my own hives. I have a channel, I'll put a link down below, that shows all of my adventures in beekeeping. They are from a couple of seasons ago. I no longer do blog posts anymore because I just simply don't have time, but I still do keep bees. And this honey is from last season and is since crystallized, but that is okay. Honey does not go bad, there is evidence from Egyptian tombs of honey that is still perfectly fine. So if your honey crystallizes, that is a good sign. That means your honey is real. Artificial honey, honey that is made with syrups or added syrups, will not crystallize. I actually prefer my honey like this. I find it's more spreadable. It doesn't kind of ooze all over the place. And I like that slightly crunchy texture. One of the simplest pleasures in the world, in my opinion, is a piece of honey toast, which is simply bread, toasted, buttered, and honeyed. Just so good. So, plenty of butter. This is the corn honey. It's a little thin in consistency, but it is still quite hot. And here is my honey. In fact, I prefer crystallized honey. I really like that texture. Smear that on. A lot of people ask if I sell my honey, and I do not. I give it to friends and family. I love giving it as gifts. I never want to commodify my bees' work. So. That's just my shtick. Okay, next we're gonna put the, the corn honey. Here is the corn cob honey. Let's give that a go. Alrighty, itadakimasu. That's nice and chewy toasted sourdough bread with plenty of butter on it. And that alone is delicious. It's not bad. It's sweet. It has a light flavor of corn, but it's not distracting. Mm -hmm. Let me just taste a little bit on its own. Mm. Now I can really taste it. It has a light corn on the cob flavor and it's sweet. It's about as sweet as honey. It's fairly sweet. The consistency is a little bit different than honey. It's a little bit thinner, but this is quite hot. I think as this cools down a bit, it's gonna thicken up a little bit more. The turmeric doesn't give it any additional flavor, but it is very concentrated in its sweet kind of intensity. Now let's compare that with actual honey. Alrighty, here we go. Mm. Very, very different. Honey has just this complexity that changes from season to season, from year to year. And every year I'm just tickled by it because I don't know what color the harvest will be. I don't know what the flavor is gonna be. It all depends on what the bees forage. It's fruity, it's floral, and just lovely. It's a difficult comparison to make between the two because the honey is just so complex in its flavors and intensity. In terms of level of sweetness, it's pretty similar. The corn cob honey is not bad at all. It just has a very clear sweetness to it. Very sweet and clear and just sweet. And you have that flavor of cooked corn, kind of like you would have boiled corn. So for what this is, it's actually pretty good. It has a light kind of corn on the cob flavor. 
it's sweet, it goes really well with toast, and you're using up scraps that you would normally either compost or throw away. It's a very practical and pretty tasty recipe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the corn cob version of Frosted Flakes. Yes, totally. Is it honey? No, but is it good for what it is? Yes. So technically speaking, honey is the reduced nectar of flowers. So it is vegetarian, but it does contain enzymes from honeybees. Honeybees visit a flower, take up the nectar stored in their organ, bring it back to the hive and deposit it into honeycomb cells, where it then goes through a process of evaporation. And when it gets to a certain viscosity, the honeybees will then cap it with wax for later. More specifically in the winter when nothing is blooming, that's what the honeybees feed on. So as a beekeeper, I only take 50% of what the bees collect to make sure they overwinter. Also, I monitor them over the winter to make sure they have enough stores. Honeybees are marvelous and I've learned so very much and there's so much more to learn. If you're interested in learning more about them, you can check out my other channel. So there you have it. That's how you can turn corn cobs into honey. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching and big thanks to Awform for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to receive 20% off a couch of your choice, click the link down below or head over to allform.com slash Emmy made. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe. Oh, check out my website for a recipe if you're interested in making this and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. I could eat a lot of honey toast, like a lot.